Hello there, this video is going to show you the basic functionality of the Microsoft Immersive Reader inside Canvas. So after you have enabled Immersive Reader inside your profile user settings, when you navigate to a Canvas page, you should be able to see the Immersive Reader button located at the top right hand corner of that page. In order to turn on Immersive Reader and use its features, first you will click the Immersive Reader button. Now you can see that your view has changed after opening the Immersive Reader um, application inside Canvas. I'm going to now press the green arrow play button located at the center bottom of my screen so you can hear what it's like when Immersive Reader reads text out loud. Home page. Welcome to the Accessibility Microcourses. Before you begin, please take some time to review information about how this space is organized, where to get help, and how badges will be used to track your progress and completion of the microcourses. I stopped Immersive Reader by hitting the Stop Playback button, um, which is the same button as the uh, original Play button I pressed to get it to read out loud. There are some other features and settings that you can use. Next to the Play button is another button labeled Voice Settings. This allows you to increase or decrease the speed of the voice that you're listening to. Um, at the top right hand corner, there are three additional buttons that you can select to make some preference choices as well. The first button is a, for text preferences. When you select that button, you can decrease or increase the size of your font. You can change the uh, font itself. You can also change the theme or color contrast between text and background as well. The second button is grammar options. This allows you to tell Immersive Reader if you want specific parts of speech such as nouns or verbs to be highlighted or called out when listening to Immersive Reader um, and watching the screen. <clears throat> the third and final option is a button titled Reading Preferences. This allows you to tell Immersive Reader if you'd like one or more lines of text to be highlighted or focused on when doing playback. So when I select one line, you can see that Immersive Reader is now focusing and highlighting one line of text at a time. To close out these uh, feature options, I'm going to hit the Close Menu button, which is an X at the top right hand corner. To exit Immersive Reader completely, I can select the left arrow or Exit button on the top left hand side of my screen, which will then take me back to the standard view of the Canvas page I was on.